Hey, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration B. This was from 2022 finals problem number four. We have the integral from zero to one, x to the one third, one minus x to the two thirds, dx. Okay, and this is actually pretty nice because we do have a formula for this. And you may notice this isn't exactly the right form for the beta function, so let's just look at that formula really quick. Okay, so our formula for the beta function, notice we have the exact same bounds. We get the same setup here with x to the one, x times one minus x with some exponents. And what this is gonna allow us to do is just go right to a solution in the form of the gamma function. So all we're gonna need in order to start calculating a solution is gonna be these z1 and z2 values, and we can get this from the exponents. So like if we look at one third for our first exponent, we're saying that z1 minus one is gonna be equal to one third, and that's gonna tell us that z1 is equal to four over three. And then doing the same thing, if z2 minus one is gonna be this exponent, two thirds using this formula here, then z2 is gonna be equal to five over three. Okay, so now for the next step, now that we have our z1 and z2 value over here, and we have a form for our solution, we just need to plug these values into this formula and find a way to calculate this. So let's just plug this all in right now. So for gamma of z1, that's gonna be gamma of four over three. And then for gamma of z2, that's going to be gamma of 5 over 3. And then the denominator, we're just going to have the sum of these two values. 5 thirds plus 4 thirds is 9 over 3. That's the same thing as 3. And now to calculate this, what we can do is we can use this formula, which is going to allow us to calculate the gamma function in terms of factorials. So we have for gamma of n, it's going to be the same thing as n minus 1 factorial. So like, for example, let's just look at gamma of 3 first. Gamma three is gonna be the same thing as n minus one, two factorial, or this value is just gonna be two. Now for gamma of four thirds and five thirds, this is maybe a little less familiar. So for gamma of four thirds, this is gonna be the same thing as four thirds minus one, or one third factorial. And for gamma of five thirds, doing the exact same thing, five thirds minus one, this is gonna be the same thing as two thirds factorial. And of course, these two values are like are a little harder to work with than this, which comes out to a nice integer, but we still have some things that we can do. So what I wanna use for these is another formula. We have this formula that gamma of z plus one is gonna be the same thing as z times gamma of z. And what that's gonna allow me to do is reduce these a little bit. So like for gamma of four thirds, what I can do is putting it in this form, we can write this as one third times gamma of one third and doing the exact same trick for gamma of five thirds, we can write this as two thirds times gamma of two thirds. So now from here, I'm gonna take these values that we found and plug them in here to continue. So for gamma of four thirds, I'm gonna write this as one third times gamma of one third. Then for gamma of five thirds, we'll have this value of two thirds times gamma of two thirds. And then in the uh, denominator here, we're just gonna have this gamma three, which is two. Then a little simplification, I can cancel this two with this two here, and then multiplying one third times one third, we're gonna have one ninth in front, and then we're just multiplying gamma of one third times gamma of two thirds. And then at this point, we may seem to be stuck because we have this thing, and how do we calculate that? If these fractions were halves, like one half, three halves, five halves, then we could easily calculate those, but for a thirds, it's a little more tricky. For this situation, what we're gonna need is Euler's reflection formula. Okay, now we have Euler's reflection formula over here on the right, and you'll notice that our gamma one-thirds times gamma two-thirds isn't exactly the right form here. You'll notice for this z value, it can be either two-thirds or one-third. It's not gonna matter, so let's just call z equal to two-thirds. And then notice over here, one minus z, one minus two-thirds is just gonna be one-third. So again, we've got the same form over here. So what we're gonna do is take this z value, and we just need to plug it in here to finish this thing off. So we're gonna have one-ninth in front, and this thing is gonna be equal to pi, over sine of our z, which is gonna be two thirds pi. So we're gonna have here just pi over nine, but for sine at two thirds pi, this is the same thing as square root of three over two, so I can write this as square root of three, but then I'm gonna take the two in the numerator, and so we have our final solution of just two pi over nine square root of three. So that's it, not too bad. I always like doing a problem with the beta function. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a great day.